What's up guys? My name is Tad Miller with Rookie Rise and today I'm going to be doing part two of the Acer Nitro 5 model oh, year 2020 um, laptop. Yesterday I did a little unboxing video uh, to basically clear up any kind of uncertainties that people had about uh, the keyboard, the display, and just the device in general. Uh, Acer was given some some gray area answers on things when people asked. And so um, I wanna just kind of clear this up. If you didn't watch the review, the unboxing review, um, I'm gonna go ahead and squash these two answers now <laughs> because I know you're gonna ask them like 150 times if I don't in the comments. And that uh, question that I know I'm gonna ask is, does it have an RGB keyboard? I, and I will tell you right now, ready this is the color of keyboard it is red this is the an 515 44 r99q series so if you got the r99q with the 15.6 inch display uh the amd ryzen uh the Ryzen 5 4600H is the piece, the CPU in it, uh, as the GTX 1650 GPU, and it comes with eight gigs of uh, RAM. It has a 256 gig uh, SSD. Um, and on my unboxing review, I was thinking it had a 512 gig SSD. The thing is, I didn't even, I didn't really care about whether it was small or. Um, had a big, uh, big hard drive in it. I just wanted something that uh, I was more focused on the CPU, GPU, because upgrading storage is cheap. It's easy. So anyway, if you got that model, the R99Q, you will not have the RGB keyboard. And the second thing that I know I'm going to get asked is, uh, does it have the 144 hertz display? <laughs> That's another thing Acer was uh, kind of directing people towards is that it was a 144 hertz display when this model is not. Um, it's not a deal breaker for me at all. I mean, what you get inside of this is really, really uh, powerful. And anything else on the market that's close is going to be another $350, $400 more uh, to even get anything competitively priced with the same kind of hardware. So with that being said, are you getting a deal? Should you buy this? Yeah, I mean, if this thing stays on the market at this price, I'm not sure they're going to be able to keep them in stock. <laughs> so uh, this thing is a it's, it's a little beast. So if you can get your hands on one, I would get it. You can buy it. You might even be able to get it and resell it. I mean, I don't know how AMD is selling these so cheap with these. Uh, they must get a hell of a deal from AMD. <laughs> so or Intel, AMD is really doing some work to try to beat out Intel and uh, the reason why I didn't go for the Intel chip is because the rumors about their thermals were terrible. Um, there's uh, talking about how hot they would run. It was like trying to keep a nuclear reactor cold. And the AMD so far, to be honest with you, I've had this on my lap for about a half a day. And I have not noticed any heat at all. The fans kick on. Um, as far as the fan noise goes, the fan noise is um, it's there, obviously. Um, and I heard somebody say that they're going to be pretty loud. I guess you can say this. If somebody's watching Netflix and you're sitting next to them and the fans kick on, they're going to tell you to get the hell out. But it's not to the point where it's going to be bothering you. And you're like, you know, it, it kicks on. You're like, oh, okay, there they are. And then it just kind of goes away as far as like zoning in and out. It's just, it's not excessive at all that I, I don't think, I don't feel it is. Um, so... I mean, as far as the thermals go in, inside of this, uh, the cooling and all that, uh, Acer knocked it out of the park. The cooling is great. Um, what else? I know that people want to see some actual in footage, uh, some gameplay. I will say that I am not a, uh, a, I'm not a Fortnite guy, but I'm going to run it. I'm going to show you how this uh, uh, runs Fortnite, and I have it set up to the Epic settings on the. Um, uh, the end game play so I'm going to run that and then I'm going to tear this thing apart I'm going to show you the internals uh, just kind of the whole layout on the inside mm, what else is there guys come on I'm trying to recall 
I don't remember if I said it had a, a webcam or not, but it does. And the webcam is pretty, it's not terrible. Um, if you did like a Microsoft or a, a Zoom meeting or something like that, or WebEx, whatever you use for your video conferencing, uh, it's going to do just fine. I, I launched it up and looked good. Um, I'm probably not going to sample it. I'm trying to get this review done. And I will tell you that putting together these videos <laughs> takes a long time clipping and adjusting. And so... Uh, I'm just going to show you the gameplay, tear this thing apart, and kind of go from there. But the, the webcam's good. It's it's yeah, it's efficient um, for my taste, at least. I mean, if you're looking for a very very high def camera, this is not going to be the uh, camera that you're going to use. You're going to you want to get like an external unit uh, if possible, or if that's the deal breaker that you have to have that very very crisp camera, then that might this may not be the route that you want to go for the webcam, but. Man, you're buying it for a gaming laptop, right? Design gaming. Uh, yeah. So with, without saying anything more, I don't really know what much else I can say due to that other unboxing video. Go ahead and check that out. Again, it's terrible. <laughs> I apologize. I didn't have anything set up. I'm still working on setting up my channel here, my studio down here. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into uh, Fortnite. I'm going to go ahead and leave this running, and then I will... Bring on the OSD on-screen display and fire up my video capture for Fortnite. Let's go. There we go. Let's play. Like I said, I'm, a, I'm not a Fortnite guy. <laughs> I'm terrible at it. I don't know what to do. Uh, I feel like it's kind of like Call of Duty, but I'm not sure if I'm after, if I'm fighting real people all the time or if there's bots in the game. I don't know how to build at all. I'm just going to run around the map, just kind of show you that this is on epic settings. And uh, I've run, I ran uh, what, Border, Borderlands on here, and that ran fine. I've ran Valorant. Valorant runs smooth. And then, of course, you can see right now that Fortnite, it looks really, really good. I got out, like I said, it's, at, it's on epic settings, so it can't go any higher for the rendering. And this is, there we go. All these kids talking. Yeah, I got a mic. No, this is not working out. So, uh, as you can see here, I mean, it renders everything looks good. The GPU. <laughs> the GPU is running at uh, 51 degrees Celsius. That's not Fahrenheit. So, just keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to pick this up. This thing is almost cold on the bottom, and this laptop's been on for hours. Uh, so very, very little heat is being uh, projected off of this. So Acer really, they really focused on on that part of it. So I'm not even sure what to do here. I'm trying to mute all these kids though, hold on. Mute these, uh, I bet it's not a lie. He's not the, like, mute. No, I, I'm, I'm about to get three kills right off the bat. Mute. There we go. Sorry about that. So now we got, uh, the earthlings muted. So, the one thing I would tell you to keep in mind is that with the eight gigs of RAM that comes with this, you're looking at, you know, possibly some bottlenecks, uh, with some, uh, you know, some heftier games, uh, heftier, heftier applications that require more uh, memory. So, you know, put another eight gigs in it and you're gonna be in the clear. Um, for me, I'm gonna put 32 just cause I use this for video editing uh, and design across the board. I like having, the, just knowing that I'm nowhere near uh, reaching the max capacity on my uh, memory. So I will be upgrading the RAM and throwing a terabyte hard drive in this and calling it good. It should uh, do well for at least a couple years, two, three years. And another thing on the price, you know, you can go buy a MacBook Pro, but 
every time I carry like a MacBook around, I feel like I have this responsibility to <laughs> take really good care of it. Whereas like this, yeah, I don't want to lose it, but I don't know. I just don't feel like I'm carrying a kid around, you know. I just feel like it's like if I lose it, it's 670 bucks. Eh, eh that sucks, but it's, it's not like losing two grand or something, you know. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop this here. I'm not sure what you're actually wanting out of uh, the metrics on the um, the end gameplay against the components and hardware that you're dealing with. But uh, you can see right there, uh, everything looks like it's running very, very smooth. Uh, I can't go up any higher, like I said, with the graphics, in-game graphics itself to uh, try to push the limits on the components that come in this. So, yeah, that's the in-game play. I mean, uh, you're... It looks beautiful. It, it runs really, really well. So there's no lag. There's no hiccups. Uh, the controls are smooth, quick. So yeah, it handles Fortnite uh, perfect, perfectly. So I'm gonna exit out of here. Now what I want to do is I want to uh, rip into this thing. Where's that? Okay. Whoop. Let's get that off my screen. Exit. Okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, tear into this now and show you what's inside this bad boy. Set go. All right, let's uh take this apart so we got uh, all right now we got all the screws off I think uh, yep looks good good all 12 just get your uh, finger right in here and you should be able to pop this off like so you get uh, credit card or something else if you don't want to use your fingernail but uh, fingernail seems to work quite well here there it is you can see the little fan the <clears throat> vents for each fan keep uh, the cooling going and There we go. You can see that you have the dual slots for your extra RAM. Uh, I'm going to put 32 gigs in, 16 times 2 is 32. You got the M.2 uh, SSDs right here. You can actually upgrade both of them. And then you got this hard disk uh, SATA, I imagine SATA connection going on there. Uh, I would recommend not putting another hard disk in here. This just for the, the weight of this thing is probably about four and a half, five pounds at this moment. So if you just stick to the M.2 drives, I think you'll be uh, in pretty good shape. So, or do what you want. If you want all that extra storage, go for it. But uh, as far as mobility goes, if you do add more weight, it will definitely be pretty noticeable. Um, it does have a nice little oomph to it. So yeah. So I will be upgrading the RAM here. If you want to upgrade, uh, upgrade your RAM, you just pop those up, slide it in, slide that one out, slide another one in and done so you can see that on the fans they did space these out to give you even heat dissipation um, off the GPU and CPU so this was really well thought out they went back and they revisited from the 2018 and 19 models and really revamped the cooling in these so uh, yeah there uh, there you have it And I will be uh, tearing this thing back apart once my RAM gets in and the new terabyte SSD. I will be, uh, yep, putting it in and probably never touching it again. So this will probably be one of two times that this will be off here, I hope. And this snaps back on. That. we 
we go. Well, there you have it. I really don't have anything else to really go over on this at this point. Um, if you ask some questions in the comments, post anything that you need, I can, you know, follow up with you on anything that I missed. But in the end, I feel like I covered a lot of it. Um, yeah, I, I'm happy with this. I, I feel like I got, I got, feel like I got a steal. I feel like, uh, if, the price is going to probably go up on these when they see like the <laughs> how many people are going after them just because of what they put in this thing uh so yeah with that being said um i just want to say thanks for watching be sure to sub subscribe hit me with some comments and i will be doing more uh just random shit on this channel uh, as far as uh my brand goes and I don't know, let's keep you updated with the events. I wanna do some branding, marketing, uh, even you graphic designers out there, I'd be happy to go over um, you know, tips and tricks and you know, just what I've done in the beginning to uh, create what I've created. So uh, this review is strictly because I got this laptop to design and I thought it'd be a great avenue to kind of share with you, uh, fill the gaps in what Acer um, didn't fill in um, pre-launch at least bring some factual uh, information to uh, the gray areas. So anyway, thanks for watching guys and keep coming back. There'll be more.